solving least square problems by the QR decomposition. Before that, I have already explained in another video that how we can solve least square problems for the normal equation. Now, what do we mean by least square problems? You know, usually when there is a system of metrics, we apply Ax is equal to B, right? But what if the system is inconsistent? This a system of equation is inconsistent. Then we have to find out the approximate value of x. Okay, and to have that approximate value, we use these least square problems. And what do we mean by this is that let's say there are two vectors, a vector and b vector, and we want to find out the distance between them. We usually do the modulus of ax minus b. Okay, if we have a matrix and um, vectors x, i, y, j, z, k, then how we will calculate the modulus? It is square root of x square plus y square plus z square. Okay. Similarly, we have to do ax minus b and find out the modulus, the distance. And that least distance is covered in this topic, solving least linear equation. Now, because we are having this QR decomposition method, so QR decomposition is another topic on which I have already made the video. Please check it out. And here, because we are using this, so you know the general uh, form of QR decomposition is A is equals to QR. Just like we have AX is equals to B, we have to create x form in order to find out the value of x so that will be rx x is vector here is equal to q transpose b now what is q what is r that you need to understand that r is upper triangular matrix and q is formed of orthonormal uh, column matrix i have already explained in qr decomposition all this but still i am explaining here also let's take up an example that how we can solve it Okay, our problem and that too with QR decomposition. So we have to find out the value of x using this formula. So that means we have to find out all these values. X is the solution itself for which the question is made. Now, R and B, B is given, Q and R can be found out using QR decomposition. That means we will start with Gram-Smith orthogonalization process, which we have already discussed in uh, previous videos. But here also, what you have to do in Gram-Smith orthogonal process, you have to split it into columns. You have to split a matrix into columns. You can see there are two columns. So let's say V1 and V2 are two columns. V1 is 2, 0, 1 and V2 is 0, 1, 2. Okay. Now you have to find out orthonormal vectors using Gram-Smith process. So orthonormal vectors, the vectors uh, whose dot product is 0, which are mutually perpendicular to each other. So how can we calculate orthonormal vectors? There is a formula. Let's say y1 and y2 are two orthonormal vectors corresponding to these two vectors v1, v2. Okay. So let's say this is y set of orthonormal vectors. So how we will calculate y1? y1 is v1 itself. So it is simple. 2, 0, 1 is v1. So y1 is also this. Now for y2, we have formula in Gram-Smith which is v2 minus v2 dot v1. This is the scalar product. Divide by y1 dot y1. And when you get the result, you have to uh, do the scalar product with y1. Okay. So putting down the values, what is v2? 0, 1, 2. What is v2? Again, 0, 1, 2. Dot v1. What is v1? 2, 0, 1. Divide by y1 dot y1 which is 201.201 and after solving this you have to do the dot product with y1 201 
right now solve the dot products how you will solve it you know when you have x1 i cap y1 j cap z1 k cap and you do the dot with x2 i cap y2 j cap z2 k cap now these caps are unit vectors in x y z directions respectively okay so i dot i that means scalar product of same direction x dot x vector if you are having same vectors and you are doing the dot product you get 1 so i dot i becomes 1 so x1 x2 will be your result then y1 y2 will be your result y1 y2 z1 z2 okay you have to use this formula usually when we do the expansion we have to multiply this i with j as well with k as well but because if you see x y z are mutually perpendicular in cartesian plane and dot product of two vectors is x y cos theta so if something is 90 degree mutually perpendicular cos 90 is 0 so it becomes 0 that's why we don't do i dot j i dot k only i dot i j dot j and k dot k gives us 1 because these are in same direction why because if you same direction means theta 0 so cos 0 is 1 you get Uh, using vectors method you will find out that this is 0 1 2 now 0 times 2 is 0 1 times 0 is 0 2 times 1 is 2 divide by 2 times 2 is 4 plus 0 times 0 is 0 1 times 1 is 1 and here you have 2 0 1 as another matrix okay solve it 0 1 2 minus this is 2 by 4 plus 1 5 2 0 1 and if you multiply this will become root of 4 by 5 0 and 2 by 5 right and if you again solve it your y2 will become 4 minus 4 by 5 1 if you subtract 2 by 5 from 2 5 to the 10 minus 2 8 by 5 right so y that is y1 and y2 you got as y1 is what 201 and y2 is minus 4 by 5 1 8 by 5 right you have got your orthogonal basis here orthogonal basis i have already explained the difference uh, in Graham Smith, that what is the difference between orthogonal and orthonormal vectors? So, orthogonal basis we found out. Now, for orthonormal vectors, we are only using Graham Smith at the moment. So, orthonormal vectors, what you need to do, you have to divide y, that is this one, with the square root of y modulus. Or you can say, uh, you cannot, just bear with me, let me have a laser. Divide y with the distance of y, okay, magnitude of y. So that means if you find out the magnitude of y1, it is square root of 2 square plus 0 square plus 1 square. That is 2 to the 4 plus 1, 5, okay. And here you have square root of minus 4 by 5 square plus 1 square plus 8 by 5 whole square. Correct. So 4 for the 16 by 25 plus 1 plus 64 by 25. And if you solve it, 16 plus 25 plus 64 by 25, that is 105 by 5. Right. So what you need to do, you have y here right so simply divide it with its distance 2 0 1 comma if you divide so it will 
become reciprocal, right? So 5 by uh, 105 by root of y2. Correct? This is your orthonormal vector. So this becomes 2 by root 5, 0, 1 by root 5. And here 5 will be cancelled with 5. So minus 4 by 100 and, uh, square root of 105. Then 5 by 100 square root of 105. 5 will be cancelled with 5. So 8 by 105 square root of 105. Right? So this is your orthonormal vector. Correct? Now, this orthonormal vector, if you arrange as a matrix form, so if you arrange it in column matrix like this, it will become your Q. Remember, we are doing QR compositions. So Q is the column matrix of orthonormal vectors. Right? Because now you have got your Q, you have to find out R in QR decomposition. How you will calculate R? Using this. Multiply both sides with Q transpose. Then, you know, if you multiply a matrix with its transpose, you get identity matrix, that is 1. So, hence, R will become Q transpose A. Because this will become 1. R is equal to Q to A. Now, because you have already got your Q as 2 by root 5, 0, 1 by root 5, minus 4 by 100 and square root of 105, 5 by square root of 105, 8 by square root of 105. This is your Q. So, Q transpose will be just change the rows into columns and columns into rows. So, this is row 1. It will become column 1. Okay. This is row 2. It will become column 2. And this is row 3. It will become column 3. Right? Correct? So this is your Q transpose. Once you got Q transpose, you know A, you get your R. Correct? So 2 by root 5 minus 4 by 105, 0, 5 by square root of 105, 1 by root 5, 8 by square root of 105 into A. What is A? It was already given in the question. 2010012. Now see, this is two rows and three columns. And this matrix is three rows, two columns. So resultant will be this will be nullified 2 by 2 order. Okay. So how you will calculate 2 by 2 order? First row, first column. Right? So 2 to the 4 by root 5. First row and first column. 0 into 0 is 0. Plus 1 by root 5 into 1. 1 by root 5. Then, first row, second column. 2 by root 5 into 0 is 0. 0 into 1 is 0. And 1 by root 5 into 2 by root 5. 2 by root 5. 1 by root 5 into 2 is 2 by root 5. Right? Then, second row, first column. It will become minus 8 by 105. Then sec, uh, second row, first column, right? So plus 5 into 105, square root of 105 into 0 is 0. And this will be 8 by 105, right? Now, uh, second row, second column, this is 0. This is 5 by 100 and root 5. And a to the 16 by 100 and root 5. Correct. So r becomes 4 plus 1, 5 by root 5, 2 by root 5. This is 0. And here, 16 plus 5, 21 by square root of 105. Right? So if you simplify it a bit, you can. So this will become root 5 only. And you can also split 21. If you want to keep it only like this, you 
can keep it. So this is R. Now, in order to find out the inconsistent solution, what you will do? Okay. So what is QTB? QT, yeah, that is QT, Q transpose. So it was 2 by root 5. We have already found this out. 0, 5 by square root of 105, 1 by root 5, 8 by 105, square root of 105, right? And what is B? B is 1, 0, 3. Correct. And here, what is R? You've got R as well, which is 5 by root 5, 2 by root 5, 0, and 21 by 105. You have found out everything. Only x is left, which you need to find out. Okay, this is what? Two rows, three columns, right? So, 2 by 3 and these are three rows, one column. So, 3 by 1. So, which matrix you will get? 2 by 1. Correct. So, for 2 by 1, you have first row, first column. So, 2 by root 5 is the 2 by root 5. 0 into 0 is 0 plus 3 by root 5. And then you have second row first column minus 4 by 100, root 105, 5 by root 105 into 0 is 0, and it is a 24 by 105. So you have got 5 by root 5 and 20 by 100 root 5. Correct. And here you have 5 by root 5, 2 by root 5, 0, 21 by root 100 root 5 x because there are two values so you have to um, suppose two values of x as well okay and now just solve this matrix to find out inconsistent solution so first row first column 5 by root 5 x1 plus 2 by root 5 x2 is equal to 5 by root 5 and from second 0 x1 plus 21 by 105 x2 is equal to 20 by 105. This is cancel x2 becomes 20 by 21. And from here cancel root 5. So 5 x1 plus 2 x2 which is 20 by 21 is equal to 5. So let me change the color of the pen. So this becomes you can simply uh, divide with 5. 5 was the 20, 5 is the 5. So x1 is equal to 1 minus 4 to the 8 by 21. 21 minus 8 is 31, 13 by 21. Right? So in this way, you have got your two solutions. Uh, the concept of Gram Smith, orthogonal basis, and orthonormal vectors, QR decomposition. And hence, how you can use least square problems by QR decomposition. If you have got it, try solving some of the questions by yourself. If you have any doubt, please leave it in the comment box. I'll try to answer them. And uh, if you've understood, then please don't forget to like, share and subscribe my channel. Till my next video, take care of yourself. Bye-bye.